Tell me about the folks here. And who do you want to know about? Uh, someone I don't know, someone I don't know, or someone I do not know. Well, let's start from the top and find out about Tony. Just between you and me? I think Tony's hiding something. Oh, interesting that we didn't have Yami as an option. And given that so far Yami's the only mm, untranslated name? Or non-westernized name? He's definitely, like, not a real human, right? Just saying. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Okay, let's ask about Sue. Sue's a sweetheart. But she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. Ouch. And that's pretty much all she talks about now. I mean, that sucks. Although, I mean, we do live in a world where phones exist, so like... Pick up the phone? Jackie. Jackie's that guy over at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird, but cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Good note, good note. We've talked about everyone. Is that... That was our last question, right? Yep, see you later. Doctor. Doctor! Okay, you're Jackie. You have an extremely cute hair tie. And you're colourful. <laughs> I, I just... This is not a normal greeting, however. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? One of these things is not like the other. And you just got the... The nerd glasses effect. <laughs> What can I help you with? Interesting, okay, so we're getting the same basic questions, but... So what's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? Because taxonomy is garbage. You see just a patient who stole a coat? Like, that's what I'm thinking right now? But like, are they letting him draw blood? Because that doesn't seem wise. I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. That certainly is a bandwagon that you can hop on. Like... You know, you just wake up one day and you're like, you know, live birth, really complicated, bit messy, kinda dangerous. Let's just lay eggs instead. That's definitely how it works. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Jackie. Jackie, please. There are many problems with this. Okay. Moving on from that, did you hear about the thief? Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm really worried about Jackie, honestly. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Don't tell random children about your fetishes. Basically. Hmm. Not really. I mean, I just stay in bed because, you know, I'm really sick, but... A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Yeah, that's probably the signage telling the doctors where things are and stuff. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but... They have a mental ward? I mean... 
it might be this. I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. When did you start working here? Is it never? I am pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for but a second. So unfortunately, I could not say. Jackie. You're odd. Something about the folks here. Panky, Kasaburo, and Danielle. Okay, so we do have Japanese names, but I'm still pretty sure that Yami's fake. Let's ask about Panky, because that sure is a name. The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. That doesn't seem like the best thing in a place where diets are meant to be super controlled, but sure. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Um, okay, buddy. Saburo. I knew Kasaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. Okay, so who's Kisaburo then? I assume he's like staff? It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. Chef Panky, that's better than regular Panky. It's um I don't want to be the one to say food play, but food play <laughs> What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. Okay, so whoever Kasaburo is, he knows something. There's no way he's just randomly digging in the mud. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure on the hospital grounds. It's like, occasionally he remembers he's talking to a child and he tries to say something child appropriate, but that just makes his conversational style even stranger. Danielle. Danielle is the purple haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Okay, but thanks for telling me about everyone. We out. Uh, nurse, I didn't even talk to you. Did you call me? Shift leader, yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. What do you do at home, my buddy? At least, like, learn to operate a plunger. Well, someone has to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Do not let that man take your blood. I'm going to do my utmost to keep all of my blood solidly within my body. Fine. I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. Okay, so if that's not a cue to follow someone, I don't know what is. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. And my stomach is growling. What I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Hint, hint. Okay, gotta get that- gotta get five more G and get that nurse a peanut choo-choo. Okay. I bet there's 5G in the toilet. Oh, is this a height weight machine? Can we use it? A device used to measure height. We will never know our height. Hey, nurse. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. That sounds like it might be worth 5G. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Also, this seems to be, like, not your ward, so, like, what are you doing here? Oh, look! This plant is so healthy! I have to go examine this plant.
A house plant that looks like it could use water. No, look, it's so it's so fine. The soil is even dark, indicating that it's moist. Thermometer. Patient 138, blood samples. Okay. Let's check out this problem. Hey, what are you doing? I am... Um, this is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Can't I just, like, open the door? What's this? Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Okay, so you're Sue. Everyone really loves the side party at this hospital. We've got our own style subculture going on. So, you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well, mostly I just want to see if there's any money in there. I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It is a girl's room, you know. Gosh. It looks like you really gotta go, though. What the- does it? Do we just look, like, constantly anxious? Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? The one I just commented on? I- yep. My eyes have not stopped working in the last two minutes, so... Got it? Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. Can I just go find another bathroom? I see where this is going, and I'm just like... Ooh, this is gonna take a while. If you could buy me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Don't promise things for me. I maintain control here. Thank you. The last place I was playing with was... Uh, the last place I was playing was with Danielle and the con... Uh, blah blah. Like I said, English is not going to be my strong point today. Was with Danielle in the cafeteria. So you might want to check around there. Okay. So who's this? She's... she's asleep. Winston. How are you doing today? What's up? My wife's been asleep for months now. I haven't brushed my hair this whole time. Is this game just going to be a massive chain of interrelated fetch quests? Absolutely! That's how they all go. My favorite gaming genre. I hope you appreciate me doing this for you, stream. But I still talk with her every day. And sometimes I read to her. Did you steal my book? How are you doing today? Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I had not. I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. I like this setup. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices has been turned on. Tell me about folks here. Who do you know? Sue, Tony, and Cora. So Sue... On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Uh, Tony... I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. I mean, that seems like the most reasonable reason for families being torn apart. And tell us about Cora. You're the first person to tell us about Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Tau Cape Heroes. Okay. File that information away. 
And by that I mean just totally forget about it. Check my cabinet, there's no money. I can't check that cabinet, I just look at the marbles. Okay. So, cafeteria. I'm assuming it's down one of these. This is another room. Are you Tony? Mission 262, blood samples. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Page 1. Based on the results of Kasabaro's brain scan, we believe them the metastase met metastases. Uh, I know how to say that, I swear. It's just when I try to read it, my brain gets scrambled. To be the cause of his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administer uh, administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Okay, buddy. Page two. We need to know what these delusions are because they're absolutely 100% going to be real. 1021. Was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, okay, so October 28th. Is it October? November the Yeah, okay. Also, it's the American date system, so it's even harder for me to decode. Was found in the yard digging in the mud. Completely unresponsive when questioned. Appeared to be unaware of location slash time. November 2nd. Carrying bags of... and the page is torn. Let's check out the pot plant. Let's... let's check... let's check out the pot plant. I can't check out the pot plant. Kisaburo. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? What is up, my dude? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. I can relate. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I didn't... I didn't ask for this deeper conversation! I just asked what's up! I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. Did you hear about the thief, though? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What, are they crawling through the vents? I mean, passcodes? They're probably just, like, written down somewhere, if I had to guess. You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. Okay, so it is yummy. Also, I just noticed that boarded up door in the background. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. I mean... You seem pretty okay to me, bud. Okay, I asked him to tell me about people and he's just, I'm not one for gossip. I like that. Especially if it just means that they could not be bothered writing his dialogue. Do you got any money in here? A cabinet? Yes. A soup ladle that is caked with mud is lying on top of old medical forms. That's definitely going to be to, um, unclog the toilet. It looks like there's something beneath the ladle. Look underneath? Yes! Why would I ever not look underneath? Hey, we've got 10G. We can, uh, buy that lady a peanut choo-choo now. It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Why does this hospital have a tunnel? Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. The ladle though? Like, the, the ladle though? I, I can't take the ladle. I'm so... I am incredibly upset. The door is locked. Okay, can't use this bathroom. Let's go buy this choo-choo. I want to fill one of these side quests. Yep. I would like to buy peanut choo-choos. You received peanut choo-choos. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, hey lady, I heard you were hungry. Good bugger me, kid. What do you want to do? Offer a peanut choo-choo. Wait, you're giving this to me? 
Wow. Thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. I guess I won't mind if I go take a short break. Oh! Ow, front desk now! Okay. First, check clipboard. Hospital admittance forms A to F. Ah, I can't get to the computer. Can I get to the phone? Patient survey. So I can't check the computers. Which do you want to search? Upper, middle, or lower? I mean, all of them? An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. A newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. For God's sake. Read it? Yes. 19th of March. JNR? Already struck for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Well, that's a cheery news clipping. Several years worth of medical journals. And a lower cabinet. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Access card! Read the card, yes. New patient was spotted earlier. Lies. Were they? I don't want the creepy whales back. Hate hospitals. Closet 5C passcode 1721. We've done it! Okay, we're good. I assume that's everything from back here. Also, it occurs to me we haven't gone in here. And I can't look at anything in there anyway. Okay, let's see if one of these halls leads to the cafeteria. This one we haven't been in. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, the cafeteria might be the place with the sign that has, like, the knife and fork on it? Like, maybe? I I'm just guessing? Let's go. I thought it went outside. Wait, am I wrong? I don't remember seeing any new patients. Even Yami was like, I've been here forever. Open the locker, obviously. The door is rusted shut. Why do you even give me the option? The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Okay, I don't think you're gonna need it if what I read in the news is accurate, as we know it always is. Can't examine the tree. We've made it to food! There's a cat? Is that, like, legal? A pile of freshly made plushy toys. Oh, okay. It looks like there's something underneath one of the toys. Okay, so we've got our marble. Check it out. We found a snowy marble. Oh man, are we going to have to find like all of these? Wait, this is an actual cat. Hang on. I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine, she's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Danielle. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, look how colourful she is compared to all of the staff. Panky is the worst! Strong opinion, strong opinion. Should this broom be here? Doesn't it have a closet? Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. Interesting. Cold drinks are kept here. Gimme. Various drinks, yogurt and fruit cups line the shelves. Well, it's accurate to all the hospitals I've been in. Rice bowls and snacks, that's less accurate. On the top shelf you see an assortment of onigiri. Okay, let's talk to Panky first. Hey there, long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? What's up, my man? Did you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine out in the hospital hall with peanut choo-choos. In case you hadn't noticed for that quest you had. The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. I'm just saying, in case you didn't notice that quest. Guess it's not just kids that like him, eh? Okay, did you hear about the thief? I, I assume he did, given that he works in the cafeteria. Oh yeah. 
someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. She's got a bit of an addiction, huh? I get it though, when you're a hospital staff, you want something you can just cram in your face as fast as possible. And peanuts are really good, like they're really dense nutritionally. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? No. I think your hat might be blocking it. It comes down after hours and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the backspace. Really liking the setup. Cannot wait until the moment when I get to explore this backspace. It's gotta be coming, right? Yeah. It's a network of closed off passageways. Half built rooms. Storage closets, you know? Yes, the storage closets. Those definitely have to be networked into uh, an alarming underground system for getting around the hospital. <laughs> the aftermath of. Well, yeah. It's crazy back there. Tell me about young folks. Danielle. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's got a heart of gold. She spends her free time coming in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this. She's a bit of a crazy cat lady. I heard that. Eh, what can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Okay, Kisaburo. Oh, that's not a happy face. If that Kasabaro comes in here one more time borrowing my stuff, I swear. Borrowing? Oh yeah. He took all my soup ladles. And for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure. I still really think we should have taken that soup ladle. That soup ladle could have come in real handy. I'm just saying. I feel bad for the guy though. It's never easy when one starts losing their mind like that. It must be even tougher for his family. Hmm. And who's our last option? Jackie? Is Jackie insane? No, he's just. <laughs> Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He's all science. He cooks with his brain. Oh, that's really cute. We've got the the two styles of of culinary skills here, but they're both they they find it a point of commonality rather than a point of difference. I like that. I cook with my heart. Okay, never mind. Let's go talk to Danielle. Hey, kiddo, you need something? Logic, welcome! No cook with both? <laughs> I mean, obviously they have to cook together. Oh no, it's a cooking game? Hey, 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 hey. Overcooked went really well, you have to admit. So what's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even old cranky men like Tony and Panky. Ashkaton, did you ever see the new cooking arena game? No! Send me a link in chat. Hey, I heard that. I just got back from the Dickens Fair. Was it fun? Good. Okay, let's ask about the thief. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk. We've already done this quest! It's across from Kisaburo's room. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. 